hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php blog for admin panel so now guys we are on the front end side as we have seen that in previous video we have built this navbar and fetched the categories of it okay so we have fetched all the categories as you can see that when i click on php it's more to php tutorials html it goes to html tutorial so now guys let's create the user interface and fetch the record of it so now let's get started so let's move on category.php and design the user interface something like the post view okay so let's go back to our editor so as if you are getting confused like how this navbar is designed so i just added a simple css okay so this is a few code of css if you add this your menu bar will be designed so now guys let's get back to our category page okay so i don't want this let's remove and let's make this column 9 and column md3 let's continue making here card where we'll tell card header and we'll keep as h4 this will be our advertise area or anything okay so advertise area then your card body your advertise okay save now guys let's see the output for this right now refresh perfect so now let's design the post over here inside your column md9 we need one a tag so let's make it global a tag which is href is equal to your post will be here and we don't want the text decoration so let's remove that text decoration hyphen none and then your card body guys so card your card body let me keep in one card itself so card body and let's add one simple shadow small and margin bottom four and then guys you are going to use the h5 tag to show your title so this will be your post title and then one div for showing the label so label where if you want to add a class let's add a class class and i want this text to be dark margin and two and from here you can keep your posted by or posted on and some date over here save and let's see the output refresh cool so this will be our design guys now let's fetch the data according to your requirement so over here if you click html it should show that data if you click php it should show that data okay so as we have seen that guys in our dashboard let's move to our category view category so these are our categories which is visible in the nav bar let's go to our post let's move to view post and here we have two posts okay so which comes under php category perfect so we have at least two records so we can test it over here let's get back now guys let's begin with the coding part so first let's begin with open php close php let's use if condition and check guys inside this is set function dollar underscore get method okay so while you're getting the data what data title if this title is present in url then you have to show if the title is not present and you're directly coming over there then you will show open php close php h4 tag here will tell no such url found if anyone tries to make mistake in that okay let's create a variable slug guys where you will get your slug data so we are going to validate this slug using mysqli real escape string okay real escape string function if anyone tries to sql inject so that time it will escape from it okay 
so for that reason we are using this first your database connection guys and then your dollar underscore get method title the url the parameter okay so for this dollar con make sure you are having a database connection so inside this only we have already defined it so dbcon.php okay so we are using that header over here and that's it so now guys let's begin with creating our query so this is the category query so let me just mention as category where we will tell mm, select where we are going to select from this category one id we will select and the slug we don't want all the fields because it takes more time to load so let's keep less thing from our categories table so what is my category table name let's get back here is my category copy and paste so this is my categories where slug is equal to inside single quotes you are going to send your slug quote guys so let's take this paste here and anyways we are going to send one data so let's keep it limit one and now let's run this category so category run is equal to how are you going to execute that so using mysql query function so we are going to execute this statement your category first your database connection and then your category guys all set so now let's check if this condition is true or false so you can check by condition of mysql number of rows if any record exists in that so mysql number of rows if at least one record exists greater than zero then you'll be in else what you're going to show that so let me just copy from below let's copy this paste here and here you can tell that is your no such cap found okay so now guys let's test this code first so these two conditions let's get back let's refresh so guys now let's mess with the data that is your category url you can see no such category found your condition comes over here and for this case your no such url found if you remove this something like if you mess with this directly here you will find no such url found okay so now guys let's move to the condition inside this where now we will get the data from here so you can store that in a variable of category item okay with the help of mysqli fetch underscore array function paste and now guys you with this help of whatever the data is there inside this you will store inside this category item and from this category item i want the category of id let's keep in single quotes here you get your category id so let me just echo and show you save and refresh here you get id2 okay so let's get back let's keep in a variable called your category underscore id done and now with this help of id you are going to find all the post data so what post data this is your post and from this post you want to find that category so this is the category id2 and this is the category id2 okay so we'll fetch from this so let's get back let's write the post query guys so you can just create a variable called posts where select what what data you require just get that thing only we can use star also but we don't need all the data so i'm going to use only category underscore id the name slug and one created at from which table post table where category underscore id is equal to inside single quotes you will send your category id so just now we have created that let's get here let me just minimize this sidebar perfect so now guys let's run this post query run i mean mysqli query run function to execute the above statement your post first your database connection and then your 
post statement okay now the same way you are going to check the condition and here you give let's copy this and paste here and here you have to mention as no post away label all set and this condition comes same let me just copy and paste here but we are going to change the variable that is a post on so now guys you are going to check inside this what using for each loop so we have to loop all the data so for that let's use for each open and close and now your variable post variable let's take that as dollar post items okay all set so with this help of post items you are going to check all the post data so let's go below and control x your design so cut your design and paste inside this for each loop so let's the add over here and now we are going to handle our request so once you view that you are going to obviously view on post.php question mark with the title is equal to open php close php where your post items of what your id let me just remove the spaces all set so same way guys you have to copy your code and paste for the title also so this is your title so that is nothing but your name post name show on the posted on so you can use the same code guys let me just copy this and change for the posted on paste here now inside this we have to change some coding because we are going to fetch in date format so guys for that let's use date function where i want to show the date and capital m to show your like feb jan in that format and then your year comma str2 time function and paste your post name which is a column called created at so we have created this for time stamp so let me just show you the code over here that's it guys so now let's save and see the output first refresh cool all set guys over here let's move on html so no post available for this category and which, which we click on php category we have this many posts perfect so now guys let's see when we click on the url it should create some other url let's move and here instead of id you are going to use slug guys so let's copy the slug and paste here so make sure if you are using any extra column please add that inside this okay so i am just using four things done and yep let's refresh and when we click on it so we are getting to the post dot title perfect so now guys let's create this page and yep let's create ps post dot php all set and we need the design so let me just copy this and paste here so we'll keep the design same as our almost the category column md9 and then column md3 so let's copy that advertise part so you're going to copy this paste here and for your data this is your post view let's save and see the output refresh perfect so this is your post view i think we have missed over here so it's not card it's call refresh perfect so now guys let's click on it when you go on this you are moving to this perfect so now guys let's see next video where we are going to 
view this post so we were on this is your post data and you only click that that is your post view okay so guys in this video that's it and please continue next video where we can find out with this post one so thank you once again guys please subscribe like and share